you guys, Corey with Vocal Bearings. I'm uh, going to show you something real simple today. I'm going to show you how to measure a bearing with a caliper. Um, so standard bearing measurements are uh, ID OD width. So that's uh, inner diameter, uh, outer diameter, then the width of the bearing. Uh, so with a caliper, that's real easy. Uh, you're going to make sure it's on. You're going to make sure it's zeroed out. Uh, you don't want it to accidentally uh, start off somewhere other than zero. Uh, so first thing I'm going to measure is the ID of the bearing. So uh, if you note this part is opening up, that is actually the part that's specifically for measuring the inner diameter. Uh, so I'm going to stick that in the inside section of the bearing. Uh, it comes out to just under 20 millimeters. Uh, bearings are usually standard uh, dimensions. Uh, it's usually going to be plus nothing, minus something. So that's definitely a 20 millimeter bearing uh, ID to me. So I'm going to write that down. All right, I'm going to close the calipers back up. Uh, you see it's kind of slightly off, so I'm going to make sure it's zeroed out before I do the next dimension. Uh, the next dimension I'm going to get is the OD. So I'm going to open up this caliper here. I'm going to grab that outer diameter. Uh, and again, this is coming in just under a solid amount. And switch that around so you guys can see. Coming in right at, we'll call that 47 millimeter for the OD. Alright, and then finally the width, pretty self explanatory again. Grab that, that looks like 14 millimeters to me. So, this bearing helps if you write it down, uh, otherwise, you'll probably forget that first number by the time you do the third. This would be a 20 by 47 by 14. Uh, so, We'll do that one more time. We'll do it with a smaller bearing because some people don't even believe that uh, the same tools can be used with, uh, you know, really fine measurements like this. So make sure that's zeroed out. Get that ID. It says 2.73. So again, uh, we're going to call that three millimeter uh, inner diameter. The outer diameter. We're going to call that 10. And for the width, uh, just under four, so we'll call that four. So three by 10 by four, one of the most common fishing reel bearing sizes. Um, so that's about it. That's how you use a caliper. That's how standard bearing measurements are done. Uh, it's really not, not an exact science. It's uh, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always email us at info at Until next time.